This very curious looking character here is an East German armoured car uh, based on a very distinct uh, Soviet model going back to the 30s, um, I think around 1933, I could be corrected on that, but uh, by this time some improvements have been made on it, but um, so it's a got up to one centimetre of uh, armour plate, five and a half metres long. It's called the uh, what the V B armoured car, um, carrying one Soviet 7.62 millimetre machine gun or one uh, German MG 34, which is 7.92. Um, take up to 4.4 tons. Uh, in weight could be up to sorry I'm including the <laughs> what to go inside and um, 72 litre uh, fuel capacity only in petrol so it wouldn't you wouldn't get very far I mean my car's got a uh, 50 litre I mean there's plenty of cars with 70 litres but uh, looking around it it's a very simple design as well um, now compared to some of the cars that were being used by the the armoured cars being used by the Wehrmacht in the by the end of the Second World War, I think this if anything is a slight step in the wrong direction. Having said that, note the sloping armour everywhere, which would increase that one centimetre of armour up to uh, well, up to two metres depends on the angle of the shots coming in. Well, I mean, if the shots coming up like this way, it's going to be like uh, eighty eighty uh, centimetres, but. Uh, Depends on the angle. But it must have been needed if refueling all the time. Five people carried five people. Not difficult to see the application uh, for it. Um, anyway, it's curious to see. I've, I've certainly never seen one before.